don't you ever raise your voice at me. I am your mother. Do you understand? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 actors who were traumatized by movie roles. What do you get? I don't think so. When you cross I think a mentally ill loner with a society it. that abandons him and beats him like trash! For this list, we'll be looking at the most notable film performers who are left marked by grueling movie making experiences. Did we forget an actor who couldn't shake a particular role? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10, Anne Hathaway, Les Miserables. Portraying the mistreated worker Fantine, Anne Hathaway had her work cut out for her in the 2012 adaptation of Les Miserables. Long time, short time, any time, my dear. Cost a little extra if you want to take all year. She ultimately felt that it was hard to separate herself from the role. Playing a character that goes through a hellish journey, Hathaway cut her hair and lost more than a few pounds to look deathly ill. I had a dream my life would be. <laughs> The actress also delivered one of the most compelling scenes in the film for the I Dream to Dream sequence. An all-encompassing experience, the project left her in an emotionally vulnerable state that took time to shake off. There was a time when love was blind and the world was a song. Number 9. Bob Hoskins, Who Framed Roger Rabbit Bob Hoskins joined Who Framed Roger Rabbit as its main actor portraying Eddie Valiant in a groundbreaking production. How much do you know about show business, Mr. Valiant? Only there's no business like it, no business I know. Robert Zemeckis' project involved a seamless blend of live action and animated elements. Therefore, Hoskins was essentially forced to act as several invisible counterparts, requiring him to imagine that the title character and others were really next to him. You don't know how hard it is being a man, looking at a woman looking the way you do. This inspired him to create his own hallucinations of the cartoons to deliver a more convincing performance. Seeing the tunes when they weren't there, the star had a hard time turning off his newfound ability after filming concluded. He was advised by medical professionals to take a break in order to recalibrate his mind. You crazy rabbit! I'm going out there risking my neck for you. What are you doing? Singing and dancing! Number 8. Jim Carrey, How the Grinch Stole Christmas it wasn't all fun and fairy tales for actor Jim Carrey on the set of Ron Howard's How the Grinch Stole Christmas. They want to spend a little quality time with the Grinch. I guess I could use a little social interaction. The process required for him to get into his makeup took several hours a day. As a result, Carrey, who was frustrated with the demands, even wanted to leave the project. Of course, if I want the loathing to nine, I could still be done in time to lay in bed, stare at the ceiling, and slip slowly into madness. So the team decided to recruit a likely former advisor to the CIA to help the performer endure the torturous event. This and the Bee Gees music allowed him to better deal with the psychological effects of the production. However, those working with the star throughout all this didn't always have it easy. The Grinch! Number 7. Uma Thurman, Kill Bill Volume 2 While filming the martial arts movie Kill Bill, Uma Thurman had to drive a car down a sand road. The actress had reservations about the vehicle and the route, initially refusing to do the stunt. After some coaxing from Tarantino, Thurman complied, but ended up losing control and crashing. The subsequent issues included a concussion and knee injuries. Not only was there physical pain, the performer felt betrayed by the executives who allegedly lied about the accident to avoid culpability. Tarantino tells Deadline Hollywood that the decision to put his star behind the wheel was heartbreaking. Beyond one of the biggest regrets of my career, it is one of the biggest regrets of my life." Tarantino, for his part, has expressed his regret over the incident. Thurman's injuries also led to permanent damage. She was ultimately able to keep acting, even though her overall trust in Hollywood seemingly dwindled as a result. You and I have unfinished business. Baby, you ain't kidding. Number 6. Joaquin Phoenix, Joker Unsurprisingly, becoming a killer clown isn't an easy task for a performer. What's with the makeup then? My mom died. Celebrating. Joaquin Phoenix brought his own take on the comic book villain in the Todd Phillips film Joker. He dropped 52 pounds in order to embody the complicated physicality of Arthur Fleck, contorting his body in an extraordinary change. His specificity even made him obsess over his weight down to the decimal. Arthur, you're on seven different medications. Surely they must be doing something. I just don't want to feel so bad anymore. 
The actor self-described this as a disorder of sorts and an encapsulation of his character's mental state. Phoenix ended up receiving many accolades for his performance, showing that his efforts weren't for nothing. I know. Isn't it beautiful? Number 5. Adrian Brody, The Pianist For the acclaimed drama The Pianist, Adrian Brody chose to portray Varishwa Spielmann with the utmost accuracy. Are you talking about my tie, Father? What has my tie have to do with anything, huh? I need this tie for my work. Your work? Yes, that's right, I work. Yes, yes, your work. Playing the piano for the parasites in the ghetto. Parasites. Parasites. He learned to play classical pieces on the piano and lost large amounts of weight in order to transform into a real-life Holocaust survivor. Not just that, he changed his personal life to immerse himself in the character. Now look, look, if I'm going to die, I prefer to die in my own home, staying put. This took a considerable toll on Brody's mental health, leading to a depression he even characterized as a mourning following the production. Indeed, the material depicted in the plot put him into a state of sadness that compelled him to sleep at friends' places for a period of time. Brody went on to earn the Academy Award for Best Actor. And meeting you like that was absolutely wonderful. Really? Yes. It was, it was unforgettable. Number 4. Alex Wolf, Hereditary in Ari Aster's horror drama Hereditary, Alex Wolf plays the teenage son in a family dealing with tragedy. This is old man. <laughs> his character Peter had to do things like be behind the wheel of a terrifying accident and argue with his grieving mother in intense moments. As strange happenings seemed to follow the characters, it seems the production got all too real for Wolf at times. The frightening sequence of him in a classroom required him to smash into a desk. Peter, what are you doing here? Dedicated to his role, he accidentally hit his knee and injured his ankle. He also found himself reeling from the overall emotional toll the part took on him, experiencing psychological distress and sleep problems as a result. You are scaring me! No, I am not! Peter, Peter, listen! Stop it! There is no need to be scared. This is your sister! Number 3. Tippi Hedren, The Birds Tippi Hedren had her breakthrough bringing Melanie Daniels to life in The Birds, but unfortunately, it wasn't always a pleasant experience for the actress. These are for my sister for her birthday, you see, and uh, as she's only going to be 11, I, I wouldn't want a pair of birds that were too demonstrative. I understand completely. She was forced to endure real birds being used to attack her while filming, which eventually led to her receiving medical care. This was after she was initially told they would be fake versions of the animals instead. Sunday, you, you don't seem to understand. This young lady said there was an attack on the school. Impossible. Unfortunately, Hedren also had to avoid harassment from the movie's director, Alfred Hitchcock. She would collaborate one more time with the filmmaker in the movie Marnie, continuing a difficult working relationship that could have pushed her out of the business altogether. Oh, hello, Mr. Have you ever seen so many girls? What do you suppose it is? Well, there must be a storm at sea that can drive them in, you know. Number two, Janet Lee, Psycho. Janet Lee is best remembered for her starring role in Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho. She's harmless. She's as harmless as one of those stuffed birds. I am sorry. I, I only felt... It seems she's hurting you. Her masterful performance as Marion Crane takes her to the Bates Motel, where she takes a fateful shower that's interrupted by Norman Bates. The production involved an intensive shoot to cover every angle of the attack. It wasn't until afterwards that Lee really found the moment chilling, developing something of a phobia with regards to showers. <laughs> Disturbed people even wrote her letters saying they would try to recreate the scene. This prompted the performer to become especially cautious and to switch to baths whenever possible instead. I hope they are watching. They'll see. They'll see and they'll know and they'll say, why she wouldn't even harm a fly. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Shelley Duvall, The Shining The Shining is a terrifying film, but for Shelley Duvall, shooting it was also horrifying off-screen. Wendy! <laughs> You've got a big surprise coming to you. She starred as writer Jack Torrance's wife, Wendy, who gets terrorized by her deranged husband. To maintain her frightened screen presence, director Stanley Kubrick repeatedly subjected her and co-stars to endless takes. This involved her having to scream and cry for extended periods of time, which was rather taxing. No! No! 
In other words, Kubrick pushed the limits of her psyche beyond reason. We all know how emotional the performance Duval ended up giving was, but given the working conditions, it seems she didn't always entirely have control over the authenticity she brought to the part. You believe his health might be at stake? <laughs> yes! You are concerned about him. Uh, yes! Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.